Tonight, the football fans worried about the future of their club who are demanding more investment from the new owners. Torquay United are currently just above the relegation zone in the National League. Before a takeover in December, there have been fears the club could be forced out of business, as Jeff Welsh now reports. When a club's off-the-field activities become as much as a talking point as what's happening on the pitch, you know that club has issues. Torquay United were taken over by gaming international subsidiary Riviera Stadium Limited on December the 20th. The girls' former chairman says without their help, the club would have gone out of business. Just before Christmas, you know, that short of going into administration, which was a really bad thing to happen because by now, with 10 points deducted, I think we'd be virtually relegated into the Conference South. That didn't happen and uh, Gaming International were willing to take the club over. They'd already put substantial funds into the club, well over 100,000, so they took over the club. You'd think fans would be happy to see new owners in charge, but no new signings before transfer deadline day has caused a stir. When the team bus left for their match at Solihull on Tuesday, the manager Kevin Nicholson had only 17 players to pick from, including himself. Some supporters think Gaming International are only concerned in owning the freehold of Torbay Council owned Playmore. We want some really cast iron guarantees about that. We want to know what their specific proposals are for getting the freehold, why they need that, given that there are covenants on the ground which restrict its use. But the Mayor of Torbay says they haven't spoken to the new owners about the future of Playmore. If they wish to come and talk to us about the future of Talk United and their plans, we're happy to listen to them. But at the moment, they haven't approached us uh, since the new owners have taken over, and that's a pleasant situation. Gaming International have not given many interviews. When a new regime takes over, it's normal for them to call a press conference, invite the local media, and talk about the club's future plans. But that hasn't been the case here at Playmore. And in fact, over the last few weeks, I've tried on numerous occasions to arrange an interview with the new owners, but with little success. ITV News have tried to contact Gaming International for a response, but have not heard back. Jeff Welsh, ITV News, Playmore.